Hello, ice cream friends. Uh, we had a customer that needs to replace this arm here on a faceplate for a Taylor 161. So we're doing a video to show how that's done. First thing you want to do is get a pair of slip joint pliers, just like this. And you want to wrap the jaws in electrical tape like I've done here. This is going to protect this part here and the metal here. We don't want to be chewing that up with pliers that aren't wrapped in electrical tape. So that's very important. The other thing that's very important to know is that these do not thread the normal way. They are reverse threaded. So what that means is that when I take it off, I am actually going to turn this to the right to loosen it rather than to the left like you would do with any other normal threaded, uh, like a screw uh, or something like that. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and get that loosened there. Just take a few more turns. Apologize for the camera falling over there. Almost there. And I should be able to get it the rest of the way by hand. And it's out. As you can see, that part there. And installation of the new one is just reverse of removal. And you're actually just going to turn that to the left and then make sure that it's snug now one thing to let you know is that if these have never been replaced as they come from the factory sometimes there is uh, some some sealant or or glue in there I think it's maybe just sealant but that can um, cause it to be a little difficult so it may you know it may seem like it's not coming loose but if you have uh, somebody else help you and kind of hold on to the faceplate as you grip it with with the, the pliers, I mean, be sure as you're removing, like I said, turn to the right and it will come loose. Thanks and have a sweet day.